Showtime. Hey, jump on. <laughs> yes. It Hello. is a Saturday morning. Indeed. Beautiful. Early morning. Indeed. It doesn't matter. It does. This is the debut of, we'll say the name later, <laughs> but this is going to be a different type of discussion, different type of podcast. I don't even know if this is going to be a podcast because this is just something we do on a regular basis. For sure, for sure. Facts. So <laughs> today's topic, people, single mothers versus men with no babies. Mm. Mm-hmm. Single mothers versus men with no babies. Who like to go first? <laughs> Y'all gotta have to go first on this one. I got to defend us single mothers. Not that. <laughs> oh, I'll ask you. What's 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 your perspective on single mothers versus men with no kids? Speaking from a male mm-hmm. that has no children, mm-hmm. here's my perspective. When I meet a female that have a child. I don't have no children because I want to make sure my child have both parents. That's my philosophy. I'm not putting it on no one else, but that's how I feel. I agree with that. Right. So okay. Okay. now when I'm meeting you <clears throat> and I see the fact that you have a child, my perspective is I want to know how you raising your child. All right. Because I have my views on how I want to raise my child. Mm-hmm. And if I see how you raising your child, we don't coexist in our views. What's going to happen? going to spark an argument, argument debate. Fighting. Exactly. So I'm trying to avoid that. parent, yeah. So if I'm sitting up here saying, I'm tr- my job to come in your life, correct, is to better your situation. Right. Yeah, so sometimes. Vice versa. If I'm arguing with you on how to raise your child, how is that helping the situation? I see. I see. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Should I say more? Because it seems like y'all flabbergasted. Y'all, y'all, y'all caught up? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> Hold on. It's early morning, like we said. <laughs> oh, no. Um, y'all had a bunch of saying before this, Mike. I know, <laughs> I know, don't I get know. nervous okay. now. No, no, we're not don't nervous Don't get nervous. Now. Not nervous now. Right. Just saying. I'm just, I'm just listening to what you're saying. But, you know, it's... <sighs> Here, let me give you another perspective. Me, uh, okay, so here's the thing. Uh-huh. Right? You could meet a f- lady... Lovely lady, she got a child. Depending on the age, too, makes a difference. Because if the child's older, there's not too much guidance that probably will be needed in that situation. Mm-hmm. But when you have a young child, mm-hmm. and then you have the father of that child as well, that's three different perspectives, three different views that you're battling. Yeah. So how do one come into agreement with that? How do they come into agreement? Well, they have to sit and talk about it and 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 decide how they want to raise this child. But is it that person's responsibility of, of raising that child is the question, right? And, and will that be easy? And will that be easy? No. It, well, I would say you can't be that easy. <laughs> okay, so you being a mother. Yes. Because we're going to get yeah, deeper. It's going to get... It sounds sound fun right now, but it's going to get deep. Right. Say CJ coming to your life, right? Yeah. You have a young male. He's what, seven? Four. Oh, see? <laughs> so now, what would be your expectations of CJ interacting with your child? What would be yours? What would be mine? Well, it would take him a minute before he meets my child. So, you we know. know that. That's that's a given. <laughs> yeah, we know. So, I, I would have to see. Hold on. Um... Well, when it gets to that point, I got to see how he is around my child because people get jealous of people's children. So you have to sit there and really, really look at the person and look at and look at what you're inviting your child into. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how I look at it when I bring dudes around my child. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, that's one aspect. Now I'm going to get to the nitty gritty. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't want to date a woman with kids. <laughs> it's my reason. You say kids, I mean plural. I know. Plural. Well, so, one. so yeah, there's two different kinds of single mothers. There's one single mother that have one child and just uh-huh. does their thing and, and uh-huh. she can support herself and her child. She don't need no dude. Right. You know, you're coming in, yeah, to bless her, but she 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 can do it all by herself. And then you're dealing with other mothers that got multiple children and you're dealing with multiple fathers right. or you're dealing with psycho dads or nice dads. Right. It all depends on how that dad is treating her. Depends on how your relationship with her ends. I get it, but here's my real argument 
single mothers. Not all. So let's get it clear. Yes, there's two sides. Yes. Mm -hmm. Might be a third. I don't know. Before (laughs) me and CJ started actually hanging out with each other, I said to him, yo, CJ, women going to think you're gay. Uh, He said, what? Yeah. yeah, And I'm like, yo. And the reason why I said that is because women thought I was gay because I didn't have a child. So I'm sitting up there like, did you see me getting a gay cub? <laughs> I have nothing against gay people, none of that. But did you see me with a gay cub? Did, was there a news article saying right, right, you see right. me with a man or something? Like, <laughs> why would you just insinuate that I'm gay because I don't have children? So when I told him that, he's like, I mean, man. I believe my, it, it, it literally went in one ear and out the other. I was like, all right, you know, all right, Dante, he's just talking. Cool, cool. Now, mm, I say like a week and a half, two weeks from there, you know, I had a, I had a little sit down, a little lunch date. And, uh, she asked if I had kids. I was like, no, I'm, I'm not a father. And anything like that. She said, oh, you gay? You know, you, are you gay? I was like, you know, you know, so, That's a bold so, question to ask so, him, Dante. So in the back of my mind, I was like, damn, this is shit. This is shit Dante told me. Well, did she say it in a flirtatious way? Like, oh, no, damn, no, what are you she, gay? She, she, or, she, she, or did she say, like, she straight, more, raw, she, like, you gay? This woman was more taken back by it. She was, uh, it was like, a, like breaking the Yeah, because a it. dude with no kids is like right. a blessing to some of us. Right. Because sometimes the reason they don't want to take that responsibility, mm-hmm. but if they find someone where they can feel like they can put input into that person's life, mm-hmm. they'll stick around. You know what I mean? It, it all depends. Okay. It de- you're correct. It does depend on the person. Yeah. But we're addressing the women that thought I was gay mm-hmm. and the women that thought he was gay and we didn't deal with the same women. Uh-huh. And we had two different ages. Mm-hmm. Me and him is 14 years apart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me to be able to say that to him... Then it's a cultural thing. That's, it's women's perspective that they think that dudes with no kids are gay because look at what we're living in now. But but again... (laughs) We're we're living in the times of uncertainty. We don't know what's going on. We don't know what what people are going through in their brains. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That that could be a whole other situation. Touche. But here's my point. Mm -hmm. I want CJ to address, because we talk about this on a daily basis. Now we're putting it in the mic. Mm -hmm. We have conversations about the standards that women that had a child Mm. or children hold against us yeah. now here's my argument before I let CJ speak on it mm-hmm. we didn't put no lady through that situation nah, we yeah. don't have no children I didn't make you a mother right, right. right I didn't make you a single mother I didn't put you into the mindset of that I, there's not a woman out there that can sit up there and say I fathered his child mm-hmm. so according to what you just said the mindset you're correct but here's the thing though should it be generalized or should it be personalized it should be personalized so why is it generalized because again mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not listen you're a great mom mm-hmm. and I see how and I'm not just speaking because you're my friend I see your interaction that's yeah, one of yeah. the reasons why we all in the room together because yeah, we yeah. all got great relationships just like when I explained to CJ yo we gonna bring Sandy on and what did you say she's everything everything she was everything she was <laughs> thanks yeah, no doubt, so, no doubt. so we're going to be speaking on the generalization of women perspective as well as males. Mm-hmm. But again, how is it right for a woman to think we're gay? Right. Or even say that. Like, why didn't they just, instead of just saying the acts, like, well, is there a reason why you don't have children right now? See, what's so hard about that? Because some people, the thing is, we live in a culture where you have to have kids in order to be somebody. You have to, like, that's, it's just... If you don't have kids, they're saying that you're not living life. You're not li- living life to its full potential because that's what you know what, what we're here for. We're here to reproduce, I've and if you're that. not reproducing, they're thinking that there, there's something else wrong with you <laughs> that you don't want to reproduce. But I don't want to go into that. that I didn't want to jump into that. that pool. I don't want to jump into that pool and splash, but I know it's coming. Listen, hold on. No, 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 no. I love that perspective. You heard? He said. He said. I heard that before. Yeah. 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 I, I heard that from family. From Leon. Okay. You know, heard that from family. Yeah. Right. Before, because we speak on your the standards that you feel that we are held. Everybody's going to remember that part mm-hmm. about the reproduction. I'm not disagreeing with that. Mm-hmm. I know that, but I'm just not going to reproduce with just anybody. Right. That's my point. Right. Yeah. And that's right. and that's where it, it here in the United States mm-hmm. in the in the in the in the West or whatever they call us over here. It's. It's different than another in another country. In another country, that's okay. That because they're building over there. Here, they're not building. They don't care. They're just multiplying, 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 multiplying. But here, okay. Again, as a male my age, mm-hmm. I'm building my empire. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. I built my empire mm -hmm. to want to share it with someone. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So but people out here don't know how to build that. They're, they're, they was never taught to do it that way. They were taught to do it the way they're doing it now. He, he introduced me to what? He introduced me to what? He issued me a challenge. He said, before you start dating, save this amount of money and then get back to me. I reached out. I text him. I was like, you know what, man? I do feel different. I appreciate you for this. I want more. And uh, since then, I haven't came to you said I've been on any dates, haven't been doing such and such, haven't been, you know, getting in any messes. So, you know, that's, you know, that's part of me. That's him introducing me into building. 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 Right. Yeah, it's all about yeah, building. Yeah, People yeah, don't yeah. understand that. Indeed, indeed. We weren't taught that, you know, in, in schools or no. or anything like that. Or right. family. Our families didn't know that. We're teaching some family now, like older people than us about their credit and stuff like that. It, it's, it's This world is just all crazy. You know, we're all going to get nuked anyway. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> well, before we talk about getting nuked, so let's... We got to learn to survive. Let's, let's go on survive that. Survive today. So, get okay. Tomorrow. So, how do we... Okay, so again, you say building. Building. I'm not yes. disagreeing with mm -hmm. you. Yes. How do one build? Because, like, again, see, now, if I'm a, an example yes. to someone... Yes. I did it a certain way. He did it a certain way. Yes. These are our results. Yes. What gives that person the right to argue with the results right. that I'm showcasing? Like I'm show I'm showcasing as a young male who is establishing in multiple avenues. Mm -hmm. And I'm saving myself for the person that I could make a queen one day because yeah, right you can't make everybody a queen there's only one queen that could be in that position the, the worthy opponent mm -hmm. worthy opponent mm -hmm. later on good mm -hmm. good segue I got you. if I'm that example why is someone arguing with me about the results that I have in my life Because females have emotions. <laughs> and <laughs> of course, yeah. Go ahead. Females have emotions. And the thing is, is if they're thinking that, if they come up to you and they're talking to you and they're vibing with you and then they realize you have no kids, they're thinking, what's your purpose? You know, because like I go back to what I was saying before. Oh, 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 sorry about that. <laughs> but um, <sighs> let's see, let's get back. It's just a lot. Like if, if, I wouldn't say that to a dude. If I if, if I'm gonna do it with no kids, I'm like, oh wow. I'll ask why. Some people don't ask why, mm. and that's the issue too. No, I think I'll ask why. Why don't you got kids? See, I, you know, I'm, I want to get down to the point. See, you I, know, I was, I was asking, what, what are you gay? That's the that's the question I was asked. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it was you know, it took me back. I was like, wow, this is how far we became. Huh? Yes, yeah. you gotta it's, ask. True. See, I'm trying to like be political but also broad with what's going on mm -hmm. me and him had a conversation mm -hmm. with a young lady who had children I don't want to put the situation out yeah, there because yeah, yeah. she might be listening mm -hmm. and while we was on the phone it was comments made that like one of the comments was oh y'all think y'all should be put on a pedestal no, because you don't got no kids I'm like no. did we say that <laughs> No, I, it's going off the fact that you said women are emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the first thing she said. Mm -hmm. The second thing she said to us is, y'all must have a problem with your mother's mm -hmm. bad relationships. Like, we need, we need help. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. mama boys. <laughs> you know I'm far from a mama boy. So, <laughs> so let's, <laughs> my mother would tell you, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty tight. I'm pretty good tight relationship with my mother. You know? It doesn't mean you're, because that was said to us and I put that Mm, I, I almost I had to catch myself. Mm -hmm. I had to hold her accountable for what she was saying because I'm sitting up there. Hold up. What makes you think we got something wrong with our moms because we feel the way we feel? Maybe we could have learned from our moms Indeed. what not to do so that we don't. What's the word? Continue oh, to, like, you know, traditions that right, right. we don't want to continue, and that's um single parents. Um, broken homes. Yep. Carry on the cycle. Yeah. So I'm like, it's all a cycle. It's all a cycle. We have to learn to break it. And then because you're, you know, a little bit better because you're a little bit more educated than a, than the than most. Mm -hmm. You know to build your empire first. And then there's people now learning to build an empire at a 
later later age. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build my empire now. <laughs> And I I'll meet you him. at the top, son. I appreciate him for holding the door for me because uh, I met this. When I meet you, 2016. Oh, yeah, around 16, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he gave me 2016, his number. You know yeah, yeah. From there, I was like, yo, this, this dude, he's different. He's different. And I uh, took his number down, never called him. That's on me, my bad. You know, we met up again at, at work and we just started having conversations from there. Just everything just took off from there. And then, that's when he issued me the challenge and, you know, holding the door for me to say, you know, to work on myself, you know, be completely grounded, stay balanced and everything. And, um, and I'm still, still, it's still a process, still a process, still taking out notes as we speak, I'm mm-hmm. right front and everything. And um, like I said, I'm learning. I'm still learning. We all have room to grow. We all have room to learn and everything. So no doubt. Yes, we do. No doubt. So CJ, you were speaking about standards earlier. All right. You said that Sometimes the females that have children try to hold you to a standard mm-hmm. that you feel they didn't hold the person that they had their child with. A much higher standard, correct. Speak on that. I was speaking on from personal experience. Um, uh, relationship I had when I was about 20, 22, 23. And, um, and I'm, I met her child on the first day. I'm going to ask you, ask you guys that. What's your take on meeting someone's child on the first day? I'm not a parent, but on the outside looking in. Yeah, that's me, y'all outside looking in, right? I don't think no one should meet someone's child mm-hmm. on a first date. Right. I think you should get to know, because first first and foremost, even though I know you're a good dude, I know she's a good lady, mm-hmm. you don't know a person. Right. And I think you should actually get to know the ideology of an individual before you bring them around your livelihood. Exactly. Because you never know what could happen exactly. in that situation. Right. Exactly. So I'm not saying, because I, I know myself. I know I'm, I'm a protector of children. I will hurt somebody, even if it's not my child. There's a chance I could hurt you messing with children or even women. Yeah. But you, I just believe that. Baby. I give you a mess with my baby. I give you <laughs> what happened one time. I met this young lady at the gym. When um, I seen her working out, I asked her out. We went out on a date, ate, movie, whatever. Mm-hmm. She took me back to her house and I met her kids. I never called her again. Okay. And so the next time when I did end up getting in touch with her, she was just like, why you haven't called me? And I said, because you wasn't interested in me. She was like, how you know? Because you introduced me to your kids. I said, there's no woman that would introduce a man to yeah. their kids unless she see him as a friend. Because if you see me more than a friend, you would never introduce. And she was like, wow, you do know women. Mm-hmm. Because I'm like, I didn't know you, you didn't know me. Mm-hmm. And when you introduced me to your kids, you was basically saying you don't see me beyond the friend. Because if you're really interested in a person, unless you, I don't, see, and I don't want to sit up there and say somebody's a bad parent. I would never say that. Somebody might say that's bad parenting, bringing people you don't know around your children. Mm-hmm. But I don't, like you said earlier, we yeah. don't understand the search, um, the situation, the circumstance or why somebody might be like, you know what? Mm-hmm. I feel comfortable with you no, to right, do right. that. Right. So it's, we could say it's on the individual, but in my opinion, All right. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't even want to meet your child on a um, right. first. I don't want to meet your child unless I know me and you going to be involved with each other because I don't want your child to get close to me and then if you if things don't yeah, work out, that's that's always an issue. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what happened. That's what happened in my experience. I didn't even think of it that way. So yeah. I, I wish I would have. Mm-hmm. Like I said I wish I would have taken number down. I would have called you. But <laughs> you would have you would have saved yeah, the headache. Yeah, oh my yeah, goodness, big, more than headache, it's, it's a tumor. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, I was over here making excuses. I'm like, yeah, maybe she didn't have a babysitter. Maybe it's you know. Babysitters are hard though. Babysitters are hard. Uh-huh. And right now with COVID, oh, just me, I know. But hold up. He's talking about a past, past tense. You're talking about a now tense. Yeah. But again, see, but hold on though. See, you're speaking from single mom. Single he's mom. He's speaking from single a man mom. with no kids. And he's trying to understand the situation. Uh, that's what I'm, him. I'm like, babysitters is hard because, yeah. especially if you have that mind frame of who you want to leave your child with. Like, my son only stays with three people, really. Okay. Three people, and if those three people are not available, then I am not available. <laughs> you know, because right now the world is is dangerous. It's always been dangerous, but now we see it through social media. We see actually the the dangers that that's going on in the world. Back then, it was hidden. So hell no. See what's going on at a sleepover? These two 12 year olds just oh man, just messed up this other 12 year old. 
Yeah. Like what they do? They shaved her head. They burned it with cigarettes. They t- tied it up for three days. Twelve year olds in Indiana. This I just read it on my uh, Facebook this morning. That's what they're doing now. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to see what nationality they were. <laughs> I was about to ask that question. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna leave that alone for the top. <laughs> I don't know. I, know. I just know it's from Indiana, so and they were 12 year old sleep. It was a 12 year old sleepovers, and they were gonna, the in the article it said. That I know we're revving off, but either way, in the article it said that if they were adults, they would have got charged with multiple felony charges. Man. If they were adults, the kids, they're twelve year olds. They don't even know how to charge them <laughs> right now. <laughs> now you now you know what's crazy about that? Not, that yeah. might be a discussion for later on. We later might have on. to keep that on. Okay. Because you know why? Yeah. It's like if you got twelve year olds with the mindset of doing this, Killer kids, and nothing is held accountable. What's going to stop 12 year olds from escalating and escalating yeah, and becoming even older, yeah. worse? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. We can definitely talk about that. So, again, the discussion today is, and right now, this is the first episode. So, we trying to get to know each other beyond this because sure. CJ is coming out of his shell because normally he gets, he can be more lit than what he is right now, but. It's all good. It's, it's, you know, so it's all right. You know, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting warmed up. He's getting warmed up. He hasn't been on air before. It's all good. It's all right. good. It's single mothers versus males without kids. Kids. And hold up, we keep saying single mothers. It could also be single, single fathers single versus fathers. women without kids. kids. But yeah. because we don't have a female present right. in studio to speak on this. We speaking from the perspective of a male, but I also know there's some women that feel a certain way as well. I'll give you another story. And um this person gonna know who they are when they say this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> like, I, don't care. <laughs> I care, but I don't. <laughs> but here's another thing. Yeah. There was a situation where there was a young lady interested in me, and she had multiple fathers, multiple kids. And she said, You're missing out on a good thing. Not dating women with kids. I said, I am, huh? So what happened was one time, one of her baby fathers stole my number on her phone. And he called me. And I'm sitting up there like, what are you calling me for? Like, what I gotta do with this situation? I was like, if you know, she'll tell you I don't like women with kids, so <laughs> what's going on here? What are we talking about? So talking about. So now it's funny because as Sandy know, I have a therapeutic background. So I'm sitting up there counseling dude on the phone. He's crying like, I know, man. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm sitting up there like, yo, hold up. So I'm missing out on a good thing with this? Like, hold up. So let me get this straight. You come in my life, there ain't nobody you have to worry about but me. Right, right. I come in your life, I gotta worry about him. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah. Sound like a song. Yeah. <laughs> Me and, 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 and him. Yeah. What you gonna do, baby? <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna let you go. Oh no, no. Oh, God. So, <laughs> it's crazy. So what so what's your take on, you know, being held to higher standards from from old buddy? I say I say old buddy. Like, oh. you know, for example, like, you know, like what's your take on that, like being held to a higher standard? You know, picking up the slack uh, and the whole comparing and contrasting. It can be mentally fatiguing. Yes and no. All right. But I'm going to say yes because you can't have both ways. So I'm going right. to say yes. Okay. Here's the thing. If I'm meeting you and you had your situation, I had nothing to do with that situation. Mm-hmm. You're not going to hold me to a standard that you didn't hold someone else to. I don't care what is the excuse, what's the justification because again, the result is I don't have a child and I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm a saint and I'm a virgin or whatever and I haven't dealt with multiple women or something, but I didn't put nobody in that situation where you could hold me accountable for what somebody did in your situation. So when I'm getting to know you, you got to know who I am and what I bring to the table and I shouldn't be compared to this person because I always say what you did at the age of 20 is going to be different at the age of 30. Just like when you turn 40, it's going to be different because you're going to have a different mindset, different experiences, yep, yep, different yep. fun. I'm everything. now, being 40. Oh, my God. See, everything is going to be <laughs> different. You shouldn't put your age out there, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I look good for 40, so I'm good. I, 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 listen, nobody's questioning that. But but that's, that's my perspective because I'm like, listen, 
when we was 20 years old, we was trying to find ourselves. Yeah. Most of us had good jobs. Most of us didn't. Mm-hmm. Um, you might have got caught up. You had a child. But like, Alyssa, you might have been in love. Like, oh, you know what? I really love this person. Or this person really loved me. And it didn't turn out the way you thought or hoped. Because that's basically oh, what it is. Yes. It was oh. a hope. 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 <laughs> Let's hope put it in perspective. Yeah. Or, or, or love with the potential. Potential. You know, love with the potential. Right? Which is still a hope. Hope. <laughs> so now it didn't work out. Now my question is, did you learn from the experience? So now, when you come into a new experience, so now you're meeting me. Oh, my bad people. I thought it was on. <laughs> Oh, I, I had to turn it on because I was making sure you was safe uh-huh. outside. But um, now that I um, damn, my thing, stupid phone. <laughs> you, 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 left, you left off at hope. You left off at hope. Did you get caught up and this and that? And hope, the hope, found out, you know. No, so when you meet and so when you're meeting me, uh-huh. you're meeting me, and I'm not like the person that you was dealing with prior. Uh-huh. Is my point. Uh-huh. Just like when I'm meeting you, I can't. And one of the things I don't do, and I tell women all the time, I can't compare you to the women I met. Because number one, if I do compare you, I have to compare y'all all at the same age. Where were y'all all at at the same age? So if I meet somebody that's in their 40s and I'm talking to somebody that's in their 30s, I can't talk about a person that I met um, the 20s unless I take y'all all at the same age when you was in your 20s. What was y'all doing all at your age of 20? Because that's the results I'm seeing right now as it grows up. As you grow up and become who you are. Because, like, how many people believe, and I always ask my friends, how many of y'all believe I would become the man I am today? They say none of us believe we was gonna be, you was going to be the man you are. But I knew I had the potential, the hope to become this person as long as I did what I needed to do. Now, I did that. Why? Write books, music, entertainer. We're now a podcaster, two-time podcaster. There you go. Why? I'm living out my desires, my dreams. Like a four podcaster. <laughs> my <Sorry>. hope. <laughs> hey, beautiful thing. See, yeah. Get your hands on everything. Yeah, yeah. But to sit up there and now, because you dealt with somebody that you didn't be, that didn't live up to your expectations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now you trying to belittle me or bring me down a level, a notch, because you're sitting up there saying, well, all men are the same. No, not all men are the same. Like, even though me and him don't have um, children, we're not the same person. We may have the same characteristics, um, the same commonalities, like we, the things that we might want to um, achieve in life. But interest, we're sure, different. Sure, some, some sort of same interest, some sort. Some sort. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So again, even if a woman dealt with both of us, yeah. she's dealing with you at your age, yeah. dealing with me at my age, she's going to see the difference in experience. She's going to see the difference in personality. She's going to see the difference in stability. And she's going to try to say, well, he got more. No, you can't say he got more. <laughs> right. It's the point of he's who he is where he is. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm where I am where I am. Yeah. Just like if I meet a lady, you are where you are meeting you. Mm-hmm. She is where she is meeting her. So why am I going to sit up there and say, well, you know what? You're less than her because you don't have what she has. I had to catch myself one time. Um, I was dealing with um, when I was engaged one time. And I said to my fiance, and I had to apologize right when I said it. I said, if I was with this person, my life would have been better. And I caught myself as soon as I said it. I was like, that's not a true statement because who knows what that other person would have put me through. Who knows if that person would have been supportive to get me in the position that I'm in today. And that's my point about saying that when you're meeting somebody and they have their standards, they're sitting up there saying to you, well, I'm going to hold you to this standards because some man that I never met or nor going to see, yeah. I never met him or seen him. Mm-hmm. You're holding me to a standards? Yeah, yeah. And hold up, you're not with him. <laughs> so how good was he right. if you're not with him? Yeah. Oh, things happen. Okay, then what that got to do with me? I didn't look. I didn't look at it that way. When I, was I didn't look. You know. I, you know. Because I, I felt for the whole. Oh, let me let me clean it up. Oh, ish happens. You know. Oh, ish happens. And I fell for that. You know. The twenty two, twenty three. I really legit fell for that. Twenty two, twenty three. Yeah. Yeah. I fell for that. So I was like, man. So I was really. Addicted. You was young then, but see, but you didn't know. You were still. But right. see, you caught yourself at a young age. Sure. So, because at least you didn't learn it being older and wasting multiple years. Right. And you that know. Was, that was. I was really like. You know. 
me, I, can, I had my stubborn ways. I had to fall flat on my face mm -hmm. for me to get up and wipe, you know, wipe the dirt off, or whatever. Just realize, all right, cool. This, this is it. This is a sign. People, people will help me. People, will, you know, put their hands like, you sure you want to do this? See, you sure you want? You know, you gonna allow her to talk to you that way? You sure you want? It's toxic. Such such? That's yeah, where yeah, that toxic. Yeah, yeah exactly. Toxic city. Exactly. And I just, <laughs> toxic city. You know, <laughs> yeah, I was comes into I, play. I was blindsided. You know, you know, I got, you know. Drew mm -hmm. Brees, I was blindsided. So, <laughs> so, 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 so yeah, I just, I, I was just really just getting hit. Big by booty and a smile. Don't let that fool you. No, right. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's, yeah. You know what? It, that's what me and CJ talk about. He come to me with different scenarios, and he be like, "I never looked at it. I, I never looked at it the way you're saying it." Mm -hmm. I said, "When you first meet somebody, that's the first thing you do look at is mm -hmm. their beauty. Mm -hmm. Depending on the situation, you see what they driving, you see how they living." I always say it's the intention. What's the intentions of why you want to get with this person? Hmm. You, have, question. you have to look at that. It's the intentions. Now, I'm seeing... Because now you can look at a person and be like, yo, dad, she got a nice body. Mm -hmm. He got a nice body or whatever. Okay, so now when you get them the way you want to get them, what's next? Mm -hmm. Well, mind, body, and soul. So let's see. Let's, what? No, that's what... No, listen, no, <laughs> yes, listen to what I just said. So let's work on the once mind you, next. <laughs> once you lay with them and did what you did with them, what's next? See, what's next the is the element of seeing what, what's going to happen. Like, if you both came from separate places, are you going to stay separate or are you guys going to get together? Hold up, though. But yeah. I would get together and rent out the second. You know, it's... You're jumping the gun. Yeah, yeah. I always do. You, <laughs> just, <laughs> you're laid with each other. Yeah. The element of surprise is now gone. Because uh -huh. remember, what did I just say? Chase, it's a chase. The yeah. intentions. intentions. See, the intentions was, oh... Do you know how I hear people say this? And I don't, this ain't my philosophy. This is someone else where they say, well, you got to test drive before you... Get the vehicle. The vehicle like right. The vehicle, yeah. So, okay, but yeah. they compare that to people. Yeah. They compare that to people. Yeah, I would definitely... Yeah, I'm de uh, definitely but, for a Hold on. But listen... I need a test drive. Hell listen, yeah. But this... That's <laughs> my point. Give me a waste. So oh, no. You, lost ladies. We, we go to the gym. <laughs> we see beautiful women all, all the, the time. All the time. And we see we we, beautiful creatures. What, what, what do we what do we know about their minds? Nothing. nothing, nothing <laughs> All we know is their minds are sweaty right now. That's it. That's it yeah. But what are we looking at? So when we go and talk to them, are we going to talk to them because you know what? Russell Crowe, you got a beautiful mind. No, we going to talk to you because you got a beautiful behind. <laughs> so let's put it in a proper perspective. Yeah. So now that was your intentions because the beauty caught you. Mm -hmm. So now as you get to know them, what was still the intentions? That's the intentions. The beauty. That's, that's the, the beauty of the situation. Yeah. Yeah. So the now as you get to know them and everything, you're just like, yo, so if your intentions is like, I just want to know what this going to feel like, what it's going to be like, or whatever, whatever. Because mm -hmm. if your intentions is, nah, this ain't somebody I see I want to marry. Once you fulfill the element of surprise, what's next? You just got to keep surprising me. That's it. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Listen, I just said. Yes. All right, I yes. meet you. Yes. I'm like, oh, curly hair. What I'll do to them curls. Mm -hmm. See, right? Now I get to know you. I'll take you out to eat. Ooh, yo, all yo. of that. Seafood. Okay, then, let's then, go. Then <laughs> I'm doing that on a consistent basis. My intention is to get the reward. Mm-hmm. So once I get the reward, you might be sitting up there saying, I really like this guy. I might be looking at you like, eh, maybe once or twice again and I'm good. <laughs> mm, yeah. That's what happens. That's how single but moms. That's how people become a... single moms. That's how people become. Because see, the <laughs> element of surprise, that's what it was. How many times I tell y'all women, it was fun till it became real. It always seemed like a man leave y'all after y'all get pregnant. Y'all haven't noticed that? No. Not, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know a couple people. Yes, 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 yes. But it all depends on what's going on at the same time of 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 where you were when that pregnancy happened in your relationship. Again. That is a moment of surprise for you a lot of people. A, you talk about you. <laughs> But I'm talking about a majority. No, I'm talking about no, right. my experience. See, mm -hmm. I'm, when we speak in this microphone it's and when people are listening, yeah. everybody's going to have their experience. experience. Yeah, yeah. So my experience ain't going to be the same as his, not the same as yours. So in the experience of the women I dealt with, with children, mm -hmm. 
the same story I heard consistent without them even realizing he was telling me because you know, Attention. I'm, I'm an analyzer. I'm analyzing everything. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's very. So I'm saying they're like, how come the theme of the story? And I'm talking about all ages, mm-hmm. 25 to 40 something. I'm like, I noticed the story was, it was fun till it got real. That's when the guy left. It was fun till it got real. That's a meme. I gotta write that down. <laughs> That's what. So again, sure. when I'm sitting up there saying, so I'm like, so when I'm sitting there, the answer to the question you said, when I meet someone, mm-hmm. I'm like, listen, what could I bring to your world? Just like, what could you bring to my world? Right. And I'm not going to explain my world and how I see women what I expect from them just like because that's the problem with the communication between men and women it's the expectations it's the way they communicate because it's you know why because again if I'm expecting you to be something for me right. and you're not that why am I holding on to you yeah you know what I'm saying it needs to be turned off right right exactly gotcha and again it goes with the intentions what's your intentions of dealing with me see your intentions may be you know what I just want to have fun. See, if you make that clear, mm-hmm. then guess what? That's, that's the thing. People I, don't make things clear. <laughs> they make things confusing. And they all the thing is, well, like for me, I don't know what I want. So like I'm in the dating scene right now, but I don't know what I want because you know what? Because what I usually want is not good for me. So right now I'm trying to experience other things. People that I haven't dealt with ever. And it's different. I'll give you that. You're honest. I'll give you, I'll give you, you that. You know, there it's go. just different. I, dude, that's why I told you <laughs> I, I could rock with her. Yeah. She's a, see, she's not going to get over erratic and emotional. And one of the things I love about her, she owns her decisions, not mistakes, her decisions. I made this decision, I have to live with it. I'm not gonna blame somebody else for a decision I made. That's that's why, (laughs) see, that's why, if you notice, everyone that's in this room, we have that same personality Mm -hmm. that we hold ourselves accountable. We don't sit up there and wait for somebody to say, well, you did this, this, no. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I'll accept that wrong. Yeah, exactly. I always do that. <laughs> but again, you got You can't disregard intentions. If a person have intentions of just getting in your pants, yeah. Once they fulfill that obligation, everything else is done. Yeah. The end. So that's why I'm sitting up there saying it's like, see, yeah, you could say single mothers versus men without kids, and vice versa. But that's not the problem. The problem is, why did you want to get... Because, again, as a man, I'm not going to sit up here and act like I didn't have intentions of I just wanted to lay with a person. But, again, in that, we still had some form of relationship. We still were some form of friend. There's times I asked people, that you want to go beyond this? They said, no, I wanted to stay where it is. We kept it where it is. And guess what? We still have our friendship. Yeah, 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 exactly. Why? Because that was communicated. Exactly. Yep. Expectations. Yeah, yeah, expectations. Yeah, not everyone's yeah. built for everyone. Yeah, yeah. So now, I again, them. <laughs> so now, if you sit up there, because if people was really being real with themselves and honest with themselves or why they want to do something, because I'm the type of person, I could tell you, you know I can, but this is not my mindset. I could just say, I just want to sleep with you. That's all I want to do, actually. I, I, there's nothing more I want with you. But again, you have to get to know a person and really know what they're about and really hang with them. Because the reason I was, I'm was i saying this is because sometimes a person may not be what you need them to be at the time. But if you walk with them and help them grow and mature with them, process. they may become that person. That's why it's like it's there's women that I dealt with when I was in, in the position I'm in right now that actually walked with me and put me in this position to be the person that I am today. And I appreciate them for that. So somebody, I, even though I'm not with them no more, mm-hmm. somebody else is going to benefit from the women walking with me, believing in me, helping me develop what I needed to develop as a man. And somebody was like, how did these women help? You got to understand something. Everybody comes with a gift. You form your identity <laughs> with relationships. People you hang with, women you deal with, you're going to form your identity. Because like, here's the thing. I've never been in love. But when you laying with somebody, a form of love come out of you. Mm-hmm. 
mm. a form of emotions come out of you. You're going to find out who you really yeah. are yeah, yeah, yeah. when you're dealing with somebody. Mm -hmm. And if you overexert it, guess what they're going to say? Yo, you're too much. Yeah. And what's going to happen when they leave out of your life? You're going to think about it like, Damn. where, where yeah. was I too yeah. much? Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Give me second guessing. Give me second guessing for a while, for a good while. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I'm sitting up there saying to say, like, what can I learn? So I think we there's nothing much more to speak on. So how do we help the situation? Like how do we what can we learn? Because it's not a, this is not just about bashing. Because I keep saying to people, if we don't, this is critiquing. Right. If we don't have a solution, then what are we really talking about? We're gonna have this. Hmm. What y'all gonna get from this podcast? We're gonna have fun. We're gonna be laughing. We're gonna be joking. We're yeah. gonna be serious. There's so many different things that's gonna come out of this, but we're gonna offer solutions at the end of each podcast. And if this goes into a part two at the end of the part two or whatever, we're gonna offer a solution and let your voices be heard. Leave your comments. We're definitely gonna read them. We're definitely gonna interact with them yep, on yep. Facebook. YouTube, Instagram. we're gonna be sending the links. And so, what's your solution as a single mom? What do you think is needed for us as a society or a community to accept men to with move no on? To accept men with no children. Well, I don't know. That's just a cultural thing. I think. I think it's it's already embedded too deep, and you're not gonna be able to change it. Everything could change. I don't know. It's Season change. <laughs> Matthew's rearranged. It's a, it's a process. It's, it's going to be a process. We won't see it right now. I don't think it's going to change. I think they're still going to have that mindset because it's it's there. It's already a cell somewhere in their brain. That's your final offer? It's my final offer. So. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you got oh, sorry, waiter. You're not going to give me no minute on that one. After, you know, <laughs> it's a process what yeah, I just yeah, said yeah, yeah. well yeah <laughs> cause now I just fucked it all out listen like, I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna disagree with you mm. but I'm gonna disagree with you as long as you have breath in your living mm -hmm. you have the opportunity to change mm. I don't like to use the word change because right now wow. your, wow. Out, your outfit right now mm -hmm. you change your outfit by completely taking it off correct yes how do you alter your outfit? This particular outfit, there's multiple ways you can alter it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I can put this this way. I can put it, I can tie it. I can take this part off. Yep, I can put my heels on. You can cut, you can cut your jeans and put holes. I can cut jeans, I can put holes. Yeah, I can do all that. That's the, <laughs> that's the problem with society. Yes. We don't need change. We need adjustments. Oh, okay. And until we start making adjustments within each other, we're not going to make adjustments for each other. Mm -hmm. And let me explain. Mm -hmm. Number one, we just said we all hold ourselves accountable. That's the first thing people got to do. Yeah. Don't go around blaming the next person or why you made the decisions you made. And it's not a mistake. It's a decision you made and you're now living out the consequences if you want to look at them as consequences or you're living out the decisions you made. Mm -hmm. That's first. Second, learn from those decisions you made. Say, you know what? I don't want to duplicate or this to happen for my next generation to come. So what do I need to learn from this moment so that I can make sure that I could be in a better state and that my child could be in a better state? I met this lady, a Caucasian lady. She was, at the time I met her, she's probably in her 70s. She was 50. And she was telling me she, she was married to a doctor and everything wasn't going right. She said she divorced this man and never got married again because she wanted to make sure that her son didn't see a problem so that her son, who is now married, can have a great marriage. That's what I mean. She was accountable for her decision, her actions, mm -hmm. so that she could make sure her son could live out the results that she didn't live out. Sure. Damn, I'm good. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So, no. <laughs> but, again, you have to be real with your intentions and everything. Like, Fact. we all going to see beautiful people. And if you ain't going to help that person better themselves, don't mess it up for the next person mm -hmm. to 
achieve that person and be what they need to be with that individual. That's the problem. It's like, oh, I see something good. I want to get with it. But then you're messing it up. So now that person can't be who they need to be for the next individual. And it's not fair for that person nor that next individual because I'm that next individual. <laughs> and I'm letting you know it ain't fair. It ain't fair. Right. Because men with no children are coming out. No, nah, it, it, no, it has nothing to do with. Because again, mm-hmm. I don't. I dealt with women with children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I want to put your child in a better position than I'm in. Why would I argue with you on doing that? Right. Not you per se, yeah, yeah, yeah. but people. Because yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm not. That's my thing. I'm not yeah, going to yeah. argue with you on how to better your life. That's why I said I have the results. Right. My results speak for itself. Mm-hmm. I'm in the position I'm in. I'm trying to share what I have with someone. So let me get this straight. I worked this hard to get where I am to let somebody else destroy it in a matter of seconds, yeah, no. minutes, no. days, <laughs> months. Yes. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the point I'm making. Mm-hmm. So in my perspective, if you have issues that you didn't resolve, you should resolve your issues instead of trying to find someone to heal you of the issues. Because... If this person can't be what you need them to be, guess what's going to happen? You're going to suck them dry and make them either like you or resent worse. You. Yeah. Hate you. I resent, yeah. I say resent, resent you. Huh. I didn't want to say the word because I knew y'all would get it and y'all said it. <laughs> yeah. like, yes. You help. No, 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 no. No, the reason why I look at the time is because there's a certain time I told him to, um, because again, I thought it would go longer, right. but it's not. So if you have a closing moment... You know, I'll be, I'll be honest, man. Like, I'm still learning. Like, this was, uh, even though this is my debut and everything, I'm still learning, you know, because I could have a closing moment. I could have a solution, probably part two, but I'm just taking this all in. I mean, I'm being 100% honest. Still learning. It all starts with self. And uh, like I said, I'm still working on myself. But, um, yeah, i probably come back to y'all in part two. Okay, okay. Well, I don't think there's going to be a part two. Well, no, no, actually, no, 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 there's going to be a part two. Yeah, that's right. Part two. That's right. The comment section. You're yeah, right. You're right. Well, the comment section. And how many kids is too many kids? Dating. For me. For a single mom. Dating. Right now, the, the dating world right now, all these dudes that are out here got multiple kids. Hold up, chill. Pause. Time out. Chris Webber. Yo. <laughs> how people. many kids? The, it's too many yo, kids. Come on, ladies. We think let's you, talk about This it. is the first episode <laughs> of Don't Get Emotional. Don't Get Emotional. <laughs> With your host. CJ. Sandy. And Dante, thank you for tuning in. Shout out to the Baller Room and CLB. We all we got. Flagger. <laughs> 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 <laughs>